Hey guys. And welcome back to the West, West High, High Weekly. Weekly. This week, the National Merit Scholarship semifinalists were announced and 22 seniors from West High were selected. Congratulations. Another congratulations goes to the West Side Story for being named a pacemaker finalist for the second year in a row. In other news, this year West High is filled with construction. Here's an update on the construction progress. You may recall last year we constructed the South Gym and renovated the weight room and cafeteria along with other changes. Dr. Schultz calls this construction phase one of three he has planned for West High. This year we are still undergoing a lot of construction in the school. We're right in the middle of phase two of the construction. Okay. Um, and that includes outfitting the entire rest of the building with geothermal heating and cooling and putting new windows in the main part of the building. Our older classrooms simply weren't up to date. Polished concrete floors and a lack of air conditioning wasn't something we were going to overlook. As part of phase two, classrooms in the original part of the building are being completely reconstructed. We'll have new ceilings, new floors, new windows, and they'll have an air conditioning unit inside each classroom. Rooms at the end of the main hallway have already been reconstructed, and they couldn't look better. We can expect the renovated classrooms to look similar to these, having larger windows, a cleaner feel, and a cooler atmosphere. Now what they're going to do, and you'll, you've seen it out here, mm -hmm. is that they're taking a section of the building, a three-story section of the building, and they're taking the wall off, and they're hooking up the new air conditioning system, and they're putting the outside wall back on. The wall of classrooms facing the courtyard will be finished before Thanksgiving this year. During second trimester, rooms on the opposite side of that hallway will be under construction, and some of those classrooms will have to relocate to the temps. Here is this side, this section mm -hmm. right here, then go to the other side. So it's like Mr. Bach's room and Mr. Wickner's room. Mm -hmm. and those And so those classes have to go out in the temps. Mm -hmm. and uh, then that'll be second trimester. Just as important as new classrooms is AC. This geothermal heating and cooling system is being implemented all throughout the school and will make it so we don't have to sit in 80 degree classrooms anymore. Hold your tears of joy, please. This involves uh, bringing up cool water from the ground and using that to either um, heat up the air if it's super cold outside or to cool down the air and then uh, each room has its own little heater and cooler unit that then finishes the job to get it to the 72 degrees that we want it to be. The geothermal system is more eco-friendly and efficient for our school. It's coming along with all the new classrooms and will be added to the main gym and locker rooms this summer. Another addition is the new security system for the main doorways. It's kind of like a doorbell for your school that will contact one of the offices to let you in. The easiest way to get in is just to show them your student ID and you're good to go. Even with all these new additions, the most exciting part has yet to come. There's three phases of this project. Yeah. And so the third phase is probably the coolest. You see, phase three is actually more aimed about changing the student experience at West High. And so what that'll give you is they'll have a, the entrance will change to the front of the school. The front of the school will look different. And um, it'll give us a commons, a true commons. The front entrance will be redesigned with a new West High graphic sign and the commons will be completely transformed, expanding out to the spiral staircase and flagpole. The new commons will be fully furnished and have floor-to-ceiling windows. It will be a place where students can eat, study, or chill with friends. Other possibilities for construction during Phase 3 include a school garden, revamping the courtyard and front lawn, and renovating the library to have a new aesthetic. You can expect these things to come in the next few years. That will be it for our first West High Weekly of the year. But now, on to our new sports anchor. Hi, welcome to Tosh's Trash Can. I'm your new sports anchor, Tosh Clever. It's game day. West High faces off against Dubuque Senior at home. It's West High Dance Marathon's gold out game to honor kids battling cancer. So go out there and show your support at 715 for varsity. Another athletic event happening this week is the girls swimming team and swimming and diving team competing at the Mercer Aquatic Center this Saturday morning as they face off against Dubuque Wallert. Also this weekend, the cross country boys will race at Central College. Next week, we'll see a home varsity boys golf meet, and volleyball invites Waterloo West at a home game. That's all for this week, and thanks for watching Tosh's Trash Can.